Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. It's Halloween, well, just about. Uh, I'm your host, Jake. Tonight we are joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. And Logan from Snake Rat, maybe. Howdy. <laughs> How was that week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Logan? I played Dueling Book for a bit. Oh, good. you played with friends? I played Dueling Book for a bit. You played with friends! None of this! <laughs> we don't mention that place here. You played with friends. I want to say it again. So I played with friends. Um, yeah, and I was playing Sprite because that looks like fun. Because the Shizu costs money. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to test yes. money. Yes. So I did that. And then I can't I'm still believe waiting. it's finally come to a point where you would choose your wallet over your love of putting stuff in the bin. It's because I work for a church, so my wallet's small. <laughs> Won't get into that. Uh, ben? <laughs> My week was fine. Uh, on Tuesday night, how did I go? I went 2-2, I think. or No, I went X1. I went X1 on Tuesday. Uh, played to Relevant again. I really didn't care. Um, I want the new set. But in Australia, no new set. Um, and then... We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. We hadn't gotten it at that point. Oh, okay. it was, it's been delayed in Australia for like an extra week and a half. Um, and then today we decided to do well me and Jake and one other person at Locals decided to do Fun Day Sunday uh, so we all bought casual decks uh, I still went X1 I was like cool yeah because uh, uh, his idea of a fun deck is it was Gemnat FTK yeah I that put is together fun. Gemnat FTK that is fun uh, it works it works it's really fucking consistent like when you're playing 9 to 10 ways to get to Black Garden it's pretty easy to do uh, yeah so that was that I hate um, it. It's it's really good. <laughs> I love it. It's but really I hate it. <laughs> like at one point I just like I was playing against Texas sister and I got shifted and I was like for turn I top decked uh Nibiru and I was like I'm just gonna pass and see if he does five summons. <laughs> he did exactly five and I was like Nibiru. Boop. Thank you. Come like, again. Thank you very much. Uh now it's back to my turn and I will now win. <laughs> I respect it. Uh yeah, but that was my Wikinigo. Overall pretty decent. I'm really happy I got to play Gemini FTK. I'm happy for you. Um, so, uh, my week. I played on Monday. I think there was about six of us, six of us over at uh, Grimdark. I uh, came oh, second. I um, yeah, just again, versus Sword Soul, and they just had every hand trap imaginable. And also, I probably could have changed my sequencing a little bit, but I don't think it would have made a huge difference in the last game. Uh, Tuesday played... I can't even remember my matchups. It seems like so long ago. I think I did... Yeah, well, I got the 2 OTS, so I would have went X1, so it was reasonable. Um, and then today, again, for Fun Day Sunday, I decided to put together Mech Knights. Um, the thing I didn't consider with Mech Knights is that because now we do have Darkwing Blast and because we were the only ones playing under the caveat yeah. of don't play yeah. meta or, like, um, new stuff, um, I didn't consider the Bestial completely fucks <laughs> mech knights <laughs> it does it, it was pretty ugly at times i got so destroyed by tier element bestial because nice. yeah it just started banishing all my shit from the bin before i could even resolve anything um and then exorcist was actually a really difficult matchup too because i just didn't have the resources to play um so the only games that i won were what was the first one i won who are those first? First Leo first. So I'm too four tired rounds. to remember. Yeah, my brain is fucking fried. Um, no one here has had any sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, the highlight of today is that um, I versed Black Wings in the final, which was, again, Darkwing Blast support Black Wings. Um, what? Yeah, Who was on that? Maybe if you go to locals, you'll go figure out who these people are. Find no, out. bro. I got Find out who's playing it's what? It's the Lord's Day. I say so why are you here? Yeah, hold on. Because the Lord's Day starts at like 9 o'clock and ends at like 1 p.m. I don't, I don't know. That's why That's he was... Ex- you talk, <laughs> you talk yeah, he was so much shit. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah, anyway. Uh, back to the Black Wings. Uh, so in game two, my board was uh, Avramax, Indigo Eclipse, and The Trap. Um, he starts uh, putting some stuff on the board with like double normal summon, and then he commits to putting a tuner on the board, at which point I drop uh, Spooky Dogwood. 
Um, so I was like, you have a choice here. You, um, you can continue special summoning, in which case I'll gain many, many life points. Um, or you can stop and I'll lose half and I'll kill you next turn. This was Jake's tech because he thought I was... I thought if I'd versed Ben with his FTK, I could just drop spooky dogwood and everything would be fine. I'm pretty sure they could still... No, it would have right? been... I wouldn't be able to do it. No. You, you do exactly. It can only do you... up to 12,000 at most? Yeah. yeah. But you only do, like... Oh, you, you get a life with every summon, like, equal to the attack, right? Yeah, half. The half the attack. Attack. Yeah, no, you couldn't do it. Yeah, you do yeah, you get fucked. You'd be close, though. You dr- no, you drop Master Diamond, then it's all over. You're also summoning all those tokens along the way. Through from Garden. Yeah, no, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Had I versed Ben in the last game, I would have been great. Instead, but, I was cruising along in this tournament. I was doing great. Um, it was fantastic. Did you lose round one and just coast through? No, I lost round three. Oh, okay. Me and Chad were undefeated, and then I lost to Chad. Chad. Yep. Um, but I yeah, get shit on. Uh, back to uh, Mech Knights vs. No, Black Wings. We talk about me. No. Um, me. He Literally. got to uh, five monsters on the board. Uh, I was at 30,000 life points, and he still couldn't out the Avermax. <laughs> Black Wings, by the way. That was also my backup plan in Gem Knight. I was like, I'm just going to make an IP and then go into fucking Avermax, Avermax if I get fucked. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was my week. Um, so, moving on to the news. Uh, we start quickly with Master Duel. Uh, so the ban list is now in effect. Um, I sadly learned this. I thought it was going to be uh, like uh, the next month. Uh, no. It started like three days early. I was on the train and I was like, why the fuck got I use my maps? Fucking Where my map? Where map? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't... I noticed a little bit of a drop in consistency with my branded thing, which is to be expected when you lose a consistency card, but for the most part, it still performs exactly the same. Um, I, I think it's... I think of all the three decks, uh, Flunder was probably the one that was most affected. Yes. Because it's not just a search to get map, it's also to dodge effects and stuff, so they kind of need that to resolve i just replaced it with the duster and it's actually doing really well because now like if i get blown out i can trap trick for harpy's feather storm and then get the duster search nice it's like cool at least i got that to come back with um other than that uh, the uh link uh regulation thing is over as well i had fun ben did you have fun i did not touch it i know that's why i asked yeah i did not use it at all i have spent the past few weeks just logging in for like an hour and just winning some games on ranked as you do almost at diamond i was gonna say we're nearly at the end of the season too so yeah, yeah i'm sorry for the season i played it for like a week and i went mm, i'm done yeah it's fine i kind of want sprite now in master duel and it's gonna be a pop i want to your element in master duel it's the next, it's the next episode. Yeah, so you won't pay for it in real life but on master duel where everything will be in ultra it'll be like bye 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 they'll also probably be like oh yes we're releasing the set Kalos is at one <laughs> yeah, probably. However, think, they will honestly, also do the. Oh, it. we're releasing the set. Uh, Blues at one, Jets at one, uh, Toads banned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we just want to make sure no, that's no. an even playing field out here. This Ronan is a fun game. You'll ban Ronan Toden. No, no, it's OCG run, so it'll be Toad True. that they actually, though, Yeah. Um, I'll never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> that is a reference to something else that does not reflect the feelings of this podcast. <laughs> I don't know if uh, the microphone picked that up, but Brad gave a... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and then finally on Master Duel as well, uh, to celebrate Halloween, uh, they released Ghost Trick Lantern as a mate that you can buy. And this morning I had to put up with Jake bitching that he had to buy it. Yeah, I, was like, money, I should have to be able to, free. Oh, I want to, be able to earn it. Why should I have to pay? Bullshit. I would have thought you'd be more okay with this. You could just buy it and say, I have my... No, I play it. enough that I prefer to just earn things than spend gems on them. Hear me out. What about a casual player, Jake? <laughs> so, Jake says, I like to earn it, but spend gen- don't spend gems on it. This morning, he was like, I need to grind my 300 gems. Here I am just sitting there with, like, 4k gems in my account, like... Because you what? play two decks, bro. And? Both of them cringe. What do you play outside yeah. of Branded, Invoked, or Mech Knight? Branded, Invoked, Mech Knight, Orcus, Unchained, Ignis Star, Time Thief. Uh... Time Thief, not a real deck. <laughs> I built it for the Xe Festival. Nah, that's fair. Um, I've got Wind Witch Speedroid built. Uh, <laughs> what else do I have? That's 2017. 
I have Jake, ma- I have many decks. I like to have variants. I think maybe you just have a problem yeah, here. Yeah. Are you really? telling me you didn't craft all the ultra rares for goat when they made them craft? <laughs> I did not. No. And then realize that Sinister Serpent has the errata, so it's all for nothing. Other than that. Uh, so moving off Master Duel, we've had some uh, news. We'll start with uh, the release of Magnificent Mavens is coming up, and we do have the set release uh, of yes. what's coming. Uh, so really obviously, good set. it is going to be a very good really set. Really good set. However, <laughs> the, oh, the pull rates on these cards are. Oh, do you have a full pull rate breakdown? No, I don't think anyone I has the profit no. yet. Well, the new YouTubers and stuff have opened oh. a lot of boxes, so... The, the, don't trust pull rates until you actually get statistics from, like, a big vendor. Like, if you're just watching all the YouTube videos being like, Oh, there was only one of this pulled? Interesting. It may have been like, four boxes and got okay. one. Like, oh. Yeah, just don't read into it entirely. Like, it will be short printed. Hmm. Odds on, like, all of the good cards will probably be a half print, and then maybe the issues and stuff will be a quarter print, but... All of that disclaimer to say, keep listening to Jake right now. Yes, listen to Jake right now. Uh, basically, uh, we know most of what's in there. There's a couple of cool reprints, Lightning Storm, Evenly Matched. Um, yeah, yeah, Hand Trap as well. Matched is actually a good reprint. Yeah. They're all like really cheap too. Mm. Yeah, because there's Ultra again, so there'll be less. Yeah. Um, the other interesting thing with this is that they're all Ultra other than the occasional... Uh, what are they calling it? Is it Pharaoh? Pharaoh Rare? Rare. Yeah, so it has like the hieroglyphics on it. Um... So far, we only know a few of them, like Lightning Storm, uh, the True Name. Uh, what was the other one? The True Name. Uh, one of the uh, Crystal Beast cards. So more than likely, a few of the other like key cards will get stuff. Um, sorry, I've just got a message. Ignore the message. This guy. Rose from Bragg with news. Uh, it oh. is hot off the press. Yes. Uh- <laughs> Pull off the press. Uh, so yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see what the actual pull rates are, whether it is just a slightly skewed thing with the YouTubers, uh, as I've suspected for some time, they sort of just, I feel like they get their boxes somewhat manipulated so that they can show a raft of everything. I don't think they do. Eh. Todd off the press. <laughs> anyway. Conspiracy theories. Yes. Let us know what you think in the Discord. Just let us know your conspiracy theories, really. Ooh. Yes. This week's your conspiracy theories. Oh yeah, uh, Sword Souls all in here as well. Definitely. I don't know if we ever announced that before, but yeah, it's all. Yeah, in here. I think it was already known that it was all in there. Uh, yeah, so we move on to a couple of tournaments. Um, so I'll start with the UK Open that happened not too long ago. It's very short news because I can't find anything about it. There's, I can't see anything on any websites. Uh, but no. I did watch it. Um, it looked interesting. It seems though as though, um there's still a big swing between Europe and US as to what their sort of meta preference is, whether it's Sprite or Tier Element. Mm. Was it Flandreese that won the UK Open? It came second, didn't it? I thought it was a Shifter deck that won. Might have been? No, it was a Sprite list that won. Uh Yes. It was Sprite Tier Element. Yeah. Yes. And Flunder came second. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I remember Flunder came second. I didn't watch the event. I just looked at our group chat. Like, Unless th- we're talking about the other event, Minneapolis. No, it wasn't Minneapolis. It was Minneapolis. Uh, it was fucking what should we call it? Niagara Falls. Yeah, that, that was a while ago, though. Was it? Yeah. Okay. YCS Minneapolis. Yes. Um, so on the topic of YCS Min- Minneapolis, we have a lot more information on that. Uh, so, the top 32 breakdown, we have uh, half of them tier element. Half. 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 Uh, 28% Sprite, uh, 10% Flundery, 6% uh, Bestial, which I'm assuming is just Dragon Link. Um, yes. 3% Exorcista, and 3% Despia, which is interesting. I always find it interesting when Despia creeps up there, considering how much, like, Diddy Crow and Bestial are coming into the, the fray. Yeah, like, Bestial and Fog Band deck are oh, yeah. real bad. Oh, yeah. Mm. Unless it's playing the Bestial itself, in which case it can kind of play around things. I guess. Like, they're branded cards, so it's all within theme. True. Yeah. Um, I'm falling asleep. I apologise. And I think it was a tier element final, from what I can recall. Double tier? Yeah, I think so. I thought you had the stats here, Jake. Man, I acted like he had the stats. 
You acted like you what had What stats news. you got? Hot off the press. I got stats. No. I got nothing. No. no I, I didn't think so. I actually <laughs> thought I was going to get something <laughs> in my head. No, like, I don't have a punchline. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for, for just from results I've seen as well, with the amount of decks topping in Put each region. Away. Yeah, only I make I'm trying to phone. get the content for the people. No, you're not. No, you're not. really not. I was playing Cup Pong. You son of a bitch. <laughs> um, as I was saying, there seems to be a big divide between sort of UK and US as to their preference of meta decks, whether it be a sprite variant or a more heavy tier component deck. We also had that... Joshua Smith on YCS. Did we talk about that? Or was that last week? Last week. That was last week. Yes. Okay, I can't remember. I, uh, no, the brains. guy that won the, this YCS also was like a multi-time winner. Yes. Yes. So in the next week or two, he'll be called out for cheating and then banned. <laughs> yeah. Why? On, on, no, on stream, on they band. did actually mention... Um, They did mention... Thingamabob? Kanye? Shut up! Um, Don't talk about that here. The, the band. He got banned. Shh. Shut the fuck up. Uh, no, who was the guy that got banned? The South American player. Oh, got banned for um, 3v3 cheating. It, was, it wasn't Kamal Crooks. It was another was guy. It? No, no. He, he won the last event, right? Yeah, he won the event and got banned like a week later. That guy. They mentioned him on stream and I was like, oh. Interesting that they're Interesting. talking about Name drop. I thought they would have been him. They would have gotten in trouble for saying that on stream. Probably. Anyway. Just like saying, you know, dueling with friends on stream. Dueling with friends. Dueling with friends. Dueling with friends. Uh... Yeah, so, and we talked about our YCS coming up, but um, I suppose the big thing with us at the moment is, like, actually who's going to be able to get product. Yes, for us it's very difficult as to how product comes into this country and how, how it's distributed. We, how much we get, when we get it. When you find out. The Melbourne stores received their allocation, like, mid early to mid last week. All the other states got theirs, like, end of the week. Some of them didn't even know until yesterday. <laughs> some maybe some stores man some stores uh, but from there we move on to our discord uh, if you weren't aware we do have a discord link will be in the description below feel free to jump in say hi and ask us questions so our first question this week how do we actually have it? that was not much news considering we have a week and a half <laughs> yeah I thought there'd be more yeah, I think it's because the UK thingo didn't really give us anything like I was watching the stream I had, so I went back to watch that stream. Sorry to touch on this before we get into the Discord. Um, on day, they still had like the stream we was at to start thing on their YouTube page. So yeah, for day two, I just like sat there waiting for it to start and for like an hour and a half, and it just didn't. And I was like, oh, maybe it was just a one day event. Maybe I shouldn't have sat here for an hour and a half waiting for this to tick down. True. Yeah. Oh, actually, there is a couple other bits before I get into the Discord, so backtracking a little bit. Backtracking. Um, so, uh, in the Selection 5 pack, we do have a couple more announcements. Ah, uh, Jake wanted to announce Macabre 2. And you ruined it. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I know, I wanted to take that glory from you. So, Macabre does get an alternate art. It looks really nice. Macabre 2. I haven't seen it yet. It looks really good. It's Macabre 2. It's just Macabre you don't have to discard. He's lying. It's just an alternate art. It's Macabre 2. <laughs> Macabre 2. Macabre 2. The problem um, is, you go with Then we get uh, Dreadnought Rail Cannon, not good stuff, but yeah, that one. Uh, he gets a, an alternate oh, as well. Good. It actually looks really nice. Yeah. Because the other one sort oh, of had it. Yeah, it looks really good. That, that's the only right thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is very nice. The thing that worries me about it is that they'll do it in a shit rarity and it won't look good. So then Give I'll me still common. want to use the secrets. Give me common. It'd be nice if they did a secret. What, what did they print as an alt art? Like, Here's the alt art and it came as a common. Alistair with a gold rare. Ugh. I think it was gold rare. because they rares. did Disgusting. They did like <laughs> rabbit, no, cat. Uh, Alistair. Oh, that cat one was awful. Oh, oh the cat one looked cat was fine. No, cat was bad. Cat was bad, bro. Cat oh, was really bad. Gold rare alt arts. Uh, Appaloosa alt art. Appaloosa is still the bear. Uh, tour guide alt art as well. That alt art made me so angry. They ruined my favorite card. Rescue Fair? Shut up. <laughs> tour guide. <laughs> my childhood favorite card. Like, my the goodness. The alt art, art flipping sucks. <laughs> Sand game with the three binoculars. <laughs> yeah, bro. That was sick. Shut up. You're a beta cuck. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like furry boy with three eyes. Right? And three eyes 
insults are being hurled out here on the podcast, but that brings us to the Discord. Yes, where so insults we... get thrown out all regular. the time. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So our question, our first question this week comes from uh, Six Ice Six. Uh, he says, uh, "Deep breath, Jake." Uh, given that we know Blake is down with the thickness and Ben is a scaly, <laughs> which <laughs> which you year card do you simp for? <laughs> I think we found out just before. Makaba. Yeah. He's really into the colour purple. <laughs> Let that take take that have you. Purple nightfall, purple fusion cards. That was one wild question. <laughs> that was a wild question. I still Down have, with I, the thickness. I still have yet to hear Ben deny that he's a scaly. <laughs> I just can't he still won't. That was what I, said. <laughs> I can't talk about this. No. We're just going to move on, okay? Because if the Yuki cards are like. Wait, we'll what get... I sim for? Well, I mean, I either say what I just said there about Tour Guide. Yeah. You said, no, no, isn't your favourite rescue ferret? Yeah. So I'm either into. Guy. Furry! Oh, furry! <laughs> Where are you putting those rescue hamsters, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Are we? Oh, God, pretty I hope sure so. I'm pretty sure I'm hosting this podcast. Please move along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next question... Um, it was kind of more of a statement. We're going to turn it into a question. Uh, so he... Uh, Who Mar- is he? Marcus Brutus... Which I think used to be Blunts All Day. I think he changed his name. Oh. Um, I miss Blunts All Day. <laughs> uh, so his question was, what host is most likely to get a Rabina tattoo? Um, oh, so it's going to be Blake. Blake. However, um, that's, that's also a question. The question. What? How is it not a question? No, you, you said it was a statement. He worded it like yeah. a question. Oh, you worded it. Was it just? Yeah, there was no question mark. Okay. Really no question. Um, <laughs> but it was a question. Okay. There, there, there was no question mark here. This isn't a question. Despite the fact this is... It's clearly a question. a question. It starts with the word what. what? <laughs> anyway, the question that I'm going to make this into is, if you were going to get a Yu-Gi-Oh! related tattoo, what would you get? You really did well changing that question into a question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really do tattoos so mm. well none of us do none what? of us have tattoos mm, maybe could get gone <sighs> <Brag's here. laughs> hey Brag's here to answer this question uh, reminds well, me of the time you were like on the podcast and like you had to tap the mic to speak and then tap it off so you just come in and go yes <laughs> uh let's see the thousand eyes tattoo yeah you Rub- know Rubina that. would be sick like that like surely you get s- actually Snell as well say Ash Blossom Snell looks cool what you think so you get Ash Blossom? Yeah, man. No, I said like N Pen. Oh. Are you deaf? Yeah, bro. I want to get like Rescue Ferret. Because <laughs> I think it'd just be funny. Really? After the topic <laughs> we just spoke about, you'd really dig yourself that hole. I like. I, I just like the animal dog, alright? He's just. I, ferrets as pets! <laughs> I'm okay with. Shut up! <laughs> Don't you judge me! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your internet browsing history, don't you judge me. Have you? Yours? Yeah, yours is fucking wild. Why you call me anyway, bro? Big booty Latina. Bro, <laughs> 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 we've, we've gone off the rails. <laughs> anyway. The with all of us having a shared YouTube channel is some people forget to switch. For, like from the team channel when they search up certain YouTube videos, True. so we definitely get an insight in other people's lives. It's a, it's a good time. It's a good Interesting time. guy. No, I can't say no, that. Let's, let's, anyway, let's I, can't, I, I can't say that. <laughs> also, I'll Ben's a lot going this question because he doesn't want to ruin his uh, complexion. Yeah. Um, for me, he's already shit enough. <laughs> for me, I would get um, on. Uh, Dark Requiem Dragon, Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon. He's got like oh, uh, that's a good pick. The, the wings. Oh. He's got like the um, stained glass. Yeah, the, wings. Yeah, I'd get the wings like on my ankle. Oh, I think you said your back. I was like, no, that'd, that'd be, be hectic. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be so bonkers. For the longest time, when I was like in my early teens, I was like, or mid to late teens, we'll say, I wanted to get like full angel wing tattoos, and then I saw another role play with it. I was like, I don't want those anymore. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, I did the opposite. I didn't want to saw an arrow play and went. Idle. What did you just say? Idle. Oh, that's idle. what he said. What did you think I said? I didn't think you said anything. It honestly sounded like gibberish. <laughs> and he uh, asked me if I'm going deaf. 
Um, so, um, the reason I wanted to talk about the tattoos in general is, uh, there's a funny story because someone was asking about, um... No, the story time. Story time with Jacob. Someone was asking about a tattoo bet. Um, ideally, Blake would have been here for this, uh, but I'll tell the story on the other half. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you ruin everything I try to do? Because I'm trying to just get to the end of the story. Can we hurry this thing along? Like? You were whinging that there wasn't enough news, and then when I try to buff out the podcast, you try and go, no, that's it. Jake just revealed what's behind the curtain. The emperor wear no clothes. Anyway, uh, so 2018 YCS, uh, Lachlan was very proud of the Dynamis combo that he created, uh, talking a lot of shit about it, frankly, uh, saying that it was going to do incredibly well, it'd probably it get to top 32. Uh, Blake called him out on it, and uh, from that rose a bet that whoever did worse of the two of them would get a tattoo dictated by the person who did better. Uh, so, yeah, Dynamist uh, was what Lachlan was running. Uh, Blake was on Sky Striker. He was on the um, Call of the Abyss going second Sky Striker. It was like Hell to the Abyss, like the spell card. Yeah. Oh, the Sendy thing. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why that ever fell out of favour. That's a good card. Why don't we ever play... Um... Lullaby of Obedience. Because Bowden used it on stream. Uh, private account. knowledge. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's not in my deck anymore. I started it out. You just name engine three. cards. Yeah, I started it out. You just go like Sprite Blue. Started it out. Bullshit. Like, you just straight call Judge. That's a different game, so. The Judge can't confirm it anyway. I mean, well, the moment they play a Sprite Blue, you just like, oh, depends, game's over. Depends they can ask. say they already had it in hand, and again, the Judge can't confirm it. All three copies? Yep. Hard Drew. These guys are making a long winded effort to say that cheating is okay. Cheating no, is not okay. I'm no, not saying it's okay. Not I'm just saying, saying the lullaby is bad because cheating is a thing that people can do. To be clear, as a judge, I'm against cheating. <laughs> Fuck. The, yeah, I was going to say, the pause is concerning. <laughs> There's no pause. That's the full stop. I just want to be clear. Judge called Kevin, YCS Sydney, 2023. Why Stop this? sucking up on the podcast. <laughs> Get him off here. <laughs> <laughs> Invite a man on for the podcast and he just sits here trying to kiss ass. Uh, where is the next question? There's a lot of talk about tattoos. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, from Paul Pelican. He asks... Hey! Uh, if you had to only play one deck for the rest of eternity, what would you play? Can we guess yours, deck? No. Is it invoked? No. <laughs> Not invoked? No. Oh, so it has to be current. I just play Dragon Maiden. Makes sense. It's probably the safest thing that they wouldn't hit. Can I say like just you know sixty card pile? <laughs> sure. Because like that really is. Okay. So here's, so here's the thing: you would be able to pick your sixty cards now and never change them. <laughs> and never go again. Can I say the best floodgate deck of the format? <laughs> no one asked you. <laughs> no one asked. Also, me. everyone knew your answer anyway. <laughs> Cringe. Um. <laughs> Give me any Chaos deck of the format. Give me Chaos Dragons from back in the glory days. Um, I would probably go Branded Despia. So Purple Boy. So you're just going to lose to everyone's hand traps? The hand traps come and go. Mm, the the Despia is forever. So yeah, but it's only when people are prepared for it. Okay. We'll all be prepared because Jake will always have to play it. Uh, okay. True. It's That's a lot true. easier to prepare when you know Jake could never play another deck. Um, uh, next question. I'm not here bouncing his cards from extra deck. Grave. That's it. No. Those are the way. words. Grave. <laughs> it's uh, big next question is from Rye Guy. How do you determine what deck list you'll use? Do you try and build it from scratch, build it off a of deck core, or net deck the whole list? What do you think, Jake? Why do you net deck the whole list? Oh, that you just literally like just dodgy. pick up your bulk, like, put it through, like, a card sieve and whatever 60 cards end up at the bottom of the sieve at the end that's of that's not the true if that, was, do. If that then was you, true no, 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 no. now you take if that, if that you was take, true he'd know where you, all of his cards you are. take two out you take two out <laughs> yep just so you can put in Destrudo and Meme so that you can do Yazi package I mean that was my joke at the end there the, so he's right how does it feel that uh, hurts <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're angry at me Ben's the way to do um he'll get his time realistically it really depends on what deck you're playing, but most of the time, if you're playing meta, you're looking at the decks that did top, taking most of the stuff that you can take from that, and then looking to 
find the thing that beats that net deck. You my, want to be a step ahead of what's net deck. Yeah, my argument would be you just build it from a base. So like you clearly would just go like, I'm playing Sprite, three blue, three elf. Sorry, yeah. Three, not three, three jet, one, 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 three starter, one thing, and then you just build off from there. Yeah. Yeah, like, you work out what your 100% staying cards are, yeah. and then see, you build okay, the rest. your card, yeah, what card pool you're sort of working with for the rest. For the most part, I sort of look at the list that have topped and then make moderate changes to be more in line with what I like to play or what I think I'm going to be versing. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've had to do that for an event, so I don't know how that's going to go. Like, a clear <laughs> example of this, right, is the start of this format before, before Ban List, yes. where people were playing a lot of hand traps in both Sprite and Tier Element, playing a very control list. And like that was what was being net decked from OCG getting changed, but still net decked. And what we see is actually the complete opposite. It was like board breaker spells, all like power card dangers were back. So clearly, like sometimes net decking is just not the option. Figuring out what's actually stronger and gonna go past that. So really, you have to be able to look at the net deck, and then go, okay, if I play this, I know I'm gonna be counted for. So what am I making the small changes for to play? around that you also need to consider as well that like format defining changes like that are a full time job to come up with oh for sure like you you're not this kind of person to be like I'm gonna spend 20 minutes thinking about it and then I now know that I am going to completely change the format by doing this typically if you have that idea after 20 minutes you're wrong and this is about to not go well for you but yeah like deck like specifically deck crafting and doing like really really good lists like the Gaddis list like, that's a full-time job. Which is why I have teams. Teams are True. good. And Which none, of, none of us ever talk to each other about our deck building. Well, here's the thing. We have a really great opportunity this year because there's at least three of us that are on tier. Mm. I don't know. He, he's going to back out. <laughs> I could back out. That was Wait, did you say so, three of us? Yeah, not well, him. I was going to say because he's using my tier. If he backs out. If I back out. Other than that, but I might oh, be. Oh, you don't think you're going to play tier element? I don't know if I'll play. I might Dragon be on Biasted Thunder Dragon or Biasted Dragon. At Link. some point, I've got to play Dragon. Me so hard. The way I say it, it's Bisted. It's Bistial or Bisted. Bisted, because it's like Abyss. I like Bistial actually. Bistial. Yeah. Anywho, there needs to at one point be a YCS where I play Dragon Maid, and this could be because no. it, it's at its best probably since it had like two months LP. I mean, is it? Uh, my thoughts. It's my best with LP was here. It's best since LP is still like down here. No, now I can just go bisted, 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 bisted. And if they deck me out, I can just like. Big dragons. Yeah. I, I can just so. start banishing tidings and bringing shit back and. That's around. true. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. So, uh, next question again is from Ryguy. Have you ever seen a max rarity deck that made you question why they chose that deck? Uh, his example is he watched a video with max rarity crystal beasts. And it's super cool, but he's wondering why he chose that deck over maybe something more relevant or actually playable. I wonder if we're playing like the Ghost Rare fucking misprint videos with Rainbow Dragon Heart. Um, <laughs> it's Rainbow Dragon. Don't know what he's talking about. I would actually be more okay if someone did that. Like, doesn't Luke have like almost max tier, um, what's the water blue, water thing's called? Marincess? Marincess? Yeah. Yeah, doesn't he have max rarity Marincess? Well, it's just, actually the, pretty it's just the Starlight Seahorses. Yeah, I guess so. But something like Max Rarity Mermail. No, Max Rarity Mermail's good. Yeah, no. It feels like an attack. It's not a full <laughs> attack. You can't afford it, Jake. The half I did afford it, and then I sold it. Back when you realised you were never playing it again. You've changed, Jake. You've changed. Not really. I, well, I did. What I decided to do <laughs> moving forward was rather than making a uh, deck core Max Rarity and then having its value fluctuate depending on how good it is in the format, yep. just buying into high rarity staples, which are always going to be worth money with only That's minor true. fluctuation. That's true. Well, it's definitely a better idea. If you want to look at Max Rarity cards, for, actually, for staples. For the first time today, I was playing hand traps and um, stuff again in the main deck because Tier Element don't really play them. And I was looking at the Ulti Nibiru's and I'm like, oh, God, these are so nice. <laughs> all, so all nice. the rare hand traps always look nice they look so good uh, yeah but like I would say getting a max rarity crystal beast deck like to me that screams like I watched the anime I love crystal beast and so I wanted the max rarity cards I'm more okay with that than someone being like I dropped six grand on Marincess if someone drops six grand on Marincess they are dumb yeah but I'd be like that deck is poo poo it's I, not terrible my dragon main deck is quite expensive 
Actually, that is kind literally of like example. three cards, though. It, well, everything else used to be really yeah. expensive as well. Oh, no, yeah, more. yeah. The old deck got waifu taxed hard. Yes. Like, people were just like, you are a simp and you're going to pay for you're it. Gonna pay <laughs> for I, for I it. legitimately think there was not a single common in my entire list. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. The, yeah, they were all super or high, yeah. weren't they? Mm-hmm. They're yeah. all super except for Chamber, right? Uh, no, there was like Nurse and Kitchen with Secrets. Yeah, it was and back in the day. Yeah. yeah, no, no, it was back in the day where um, the side sets were supers. Or oh secrets. yeah, yeah. And then like even like the hand because you just fill the rest of the deck with the hand traps and shit. Like mm. everything was foil. It was like mm, can't not the vibe. Expansive. This costs money to play this game. Like what what she that? being a it was a super, wasn't it? She? Uh, yeah. No, it was a ultra. Ultra. Huh. That's not bad. Yep. It was because it's the same set as Chamber. And tidying. Yeah. God, you had to wait that long to get tidying. It was only like six months. That's, that's half a year. That's still a while. Yeah, that, that got significantly better. That's like Usually, a whole two full. Like, when you take into account the like current rotation of decks and stuff, like they get their support in the very next set. Yeah. So to wait six months feels Well, it, was, it came from age. a side set, and then they got main, day, main set support. True. Yeah, because they're like, oh, uh, we like, who's like this. Wink. It was a good investment. Like, I paid 150 bucks for that decor, and by the time it arrived in the mail, it was like $400. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, and anyway. part of that too is it because, oh, well, not so much when you first got it, but like eventually when Chamber was released, yep. Chamber spiked super hard in price because everyone's like, oh, I can just run Chamber in my um, Dragon, Dragon Link deck, I get a free bounce and at, revival. At first it was actually expensive, then it went really cheap, then it spiked. Yeah. Because I bought it when it was still expensive at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I actually remember this because there was a message from you to me and like, yeah. neither dropping, I have regrets. And then like a month yeah. later, I'm like, no more regrets. Yeah, like I paid like <laughs> 40s and 50s when it dropped down to like 20. Yeah. And then I was like, hmm, this sucks. And then like a month later, there was 75 to 100 and I was like, ah, oh, this is fine. It was a man watching his horse in the bed just go longer. It's like, oh no, let's go. I don't know where he's going with that. Any more questions, Jake? Oh yeah, there's heaps. Um, there's a lot of questions. Well, not How heaps. There's... Are they actually questions though? So yeah, yeah, question yeah. marks? Yeah, yeah. This one literally says question. Uh, so back from 6i6, uh, his question is, in the next ban list, will tam- Pancratops be unlimited or will the new uh, Cash Tree Unicorn Fenrir thing be limited? Are you aware of this card? No, I think you just like leave it. Do you not know what Fenrir is? I don't remember, I don't remember half the stuff. Fenrir's bastard. Is this Fenrir the, is the new Pancratops. Yeah, is this the one that's still quick effect though? The quick effect. Uh, it's yeah. whenever a monster activates banish. Yeah. Yeah. Or when it attacks. That goes to one. Nah, not not the next list. If I mean, one one day if one of those two has one to happen first. One day it has to. If it's asking which one's happening itself. first, that's gonna go to one before Pentatross goes to three. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they want more of the type of cards coming to the format. If anything, they want less. Yeah. It, the most bizarre thing though is they've given them this card, which is fucking insane, but it also searches that entire archetype. So if you hit that, the archetype's dead. Yeah, but sure, considering but... the the play style of the archetype, I won't be heartbroken if they kill it yeah, off. Yeah, no, it is toxic as fuck. It's so AIDS. It's like you lose five zones. Yeah. Yeah, it can lock you out of all your monster zones like in your it. own standby phase. It's I like so it. bad. It's gonna be. It's so better great. than Runic. <laughs> um, yeah, Runic's cool. I hate Runic. It's fun. I hate Runic. I'm so tired. Let's I mean, go. get used to it. Uh, Tuesday is Noob asks, other than YCS, does Yu-Gi-Oh! in your country have any bigger events run by TOs? Uh, last weekend, went to a winner trip anywhere in the world event. Oh, no. Whoa, that's not, that, not, that, that, that not does not exist around that here. Crazy. Um, the closest we've ever had was the Games Championship um, that they held four years ago. I mean, if he's comparing YCS, like, yeah, we have a, YCS, we have Oceans, we have States. And then we have good games championships. Yeah, but the way that we don't have those anymore. Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, we don't really have them. Um, but yeah, good games, which is like if you're not from the country, is a uh, franchise of card shops, effectively. Um, and they were briefly running this series for Yu-Gi-Oh, where like you'd have a store level championship. If you did well at that, you went to the state. If you did well at the state, you went to Nats. Um, and that was. Yeah. I've just realised all the S's are gone. Yeah, they've been gone for ages, bro. Yeah. Sad. Keep moving. Um, yeah, so they did that for a little while for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I did really well in the first run. The main reason I did well in that 
um, like getting to state level and then to Nats is because none of the really professional players Good rated enough. it as a thing that they wanted to sort of put their time into. How did I miss him? How did you miss him? Literally there. You would have hit him if you just not let go. <laughs> <I'm too tired. laughs> um, but yeah, um, the main reason why I think I did quite well at that one is because a lot of the major players didn't see it as something that they were worth spending their time on. At times as well with like states and stuff, it conflicted with other um, sort of mainstream regionals and stuff like that. Mm. And because I think at that point I already had my invite, I wasn't too fussed if I yeah. didn't go to that. So, there should um, be a PAX though, don't they? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they, they shipped you to PAX though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, came third of states, and I got uh, return trip to PAX uh, with accommodation. Um, didn't use the accommodation. Um, <laughs> didn't you give it to Tom? No, no, no. Tom was going to PAX anyway, and they had space in their room. So rather than me staying with some rando, oh, the, was, you had the room with someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. I'll tell you who it was too. Um, <laughs> So That's they don't really run those for Yu-Gi-Oh specifically anymore. As far as I'm aware, they still do it for Magic. It and the it pure magic. reason for that is that the the sort of payoff to commitment for Magic is a lot better because there's a lot more that they can give for Magic and there's a lot more that they get for getting people involved with Magic. Yeah. Whereas even at its yeah. absolute height for Yu-Gi-Oh, there's just not, not, not enough for them to be able to give us for people to get super invested. There's more to that. Um, and there's more reasons why Good Games Australia doesn't do UK high level events. That's well, true. Why but it's also don't because. You tell the lady and gentleman. Well, one day we might want a sponsor from Good Games. We don't want them offside. No. Um, <laughs> we're not getting sponsored anytime soon. Um, look, so Good Games Australia doesn't see Yu Gi Oh! as a primary oh. game compared to Magic and Pokemon. So even in their stores, Pokemon. Pokemon is considered higher importance than Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, even though it's one of the top three card games in TCG land, it's not considered a high-level game in Good Games Australia's idea. That's because when they've tried to hit you, get Yu-Gi-Oh off the ground in singles and stuff, complications have occurred, and they've lost a lot of money, and they've had some very bad problems with like the, some high-level players. So they've gone, we're not doing Yu-Gi-Oh, we don't want any involvement in Yu-Gi-Oh. We're going to run events locally, but we're not putting our hand out to go higher. It sucks. Good games should be better. Yu-Gi-Oh is a higher game. It does better than Magic at the moment in most areas. It should be played more. <laughs> FNM's like dead now. FNM is completely dead. At, at locals, if it wasn't for casual EDH on a Wednesday night, there would be maybe eight players playing Magic in the store. Yeah. It's obviously of a different vein, but does Flesh and Blood still do anything? Not a good game. Makes sense. Uh, oh, hang on. That, that's not even a question. We're out of questions? Sure, sure. We're out of questions. We're out of questions. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, oh, it's obviously way too late to be mentioning this, but if you had noticed, we're in a bit of a different setting in terms of the lighting and everything like that. Uh, it's because we have changed the uh, time frame of when we film these, so... You're probably getting this a little bit later than your usual. Apologies for that. Um, but it just works a lot better for our upcoming schedules that this, we're doing it at a more convenient time of day. This one will which is still air, I think, like two days after it would normally air. But uh, the return around from recording is going to be a lot briefer. So, like, you're going to be getting it on a Monday night. Uh, but it'll be a 24-hour turnaround from when we record it versus, like, a turnaround of, like, three, four days from when we record it. So hopefully it means the podcast will be a bit more timely um and we can yeah really take advantage of it yeah and other than today because we're um went we're out last cool. night yeah. um <laughs> uh you will hopefully get us with a bit more energy and a bit more zest for life zest. Uh, yes <laughs> more zest we will all be coming directly from a sunday fun day <laughs> there is no more sunday fun day it's meta till i die <laughs> it's uh meta till I die. thank you all very much for watching uh feel free to jump into the discord uh let us know some questions for next week uh, like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, like and follow us if you're uh, finding us on podcasts elsewhere, like Spotify. And we will see you all next week. Peace. Bye.